This is her first official live appearance on a BKFC show. I'm honored to do that with you. I want to be the one in there. I feel like I want to be the main event. I want to be the star of the show. That, that's why I signed with you guys. I want to be here and I want to fight. You know what? I'm actually going to take this from you if you don't mind. I'm going to go right over here. You're fucking next. Oh, that's cute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I didn't see that coming. That sounds like an easy win for me, so thank you. There are some doubters about you, Paige. We're being honest here, right? I don't have any doubters. I only got fans. <laughs> I love it. Paige, February 5th is your Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship debut, the Friday before the Super Bowl here in Florida. Yeah, you know, honestly, I'm really excited about this matchup. I think especially for the debut, I feel like I'm going into, into her world, something that she's already competed at, she's fought for. Uh, the title, she fit, fought a split decision with Beth Rawlings, who we all know is extremely talented. So I think it, people should know that this Britain chick, she's no joke, absolutely. And, and I think that's what made me rise to the occasion more. I know I have to take this so seriously because I'm super excited that I get to go into her world and take over. And if I said it too cute for her in the beginning, here you go, Paige Manson, you're fucking next. <laughs> I think Charles Hamilton is dope. I want to be at this gym all day. Like, I get here at like 9 in the morning and they're like, I, I stay to 7. And they're like, wow, you don't have to go that hard. And I'm like, well, I just, I want to. I literally love every second. I think I'm one of those people that can survive in fires no matter what. My current life is definitely a little bit of a fire. I wish I could train all day and then go sit by the pool, but the reality is I have to work like most people. For Britain Hart, this is a work day. For Paige Van Zandt, it's date night. A little bit different. Mm -hmm. I was never handed anything. I don't look at this person as a name being in front of me. I look at it as me as a fighter and what I come. And I did have 11 pro fights. So for anyone to sit there and take that away from me and call me a mediocre boxer, they have another thing coming to them. Because I've had my fist fights. I've had my, my, my downfalls and, and being at the bottom. And if I have to fail my way to greatness, that's what I'm going to do. So we met with a nutritionist today, so I'm really excited to be taking my weight cut like extremely seriously. Obviously I know how to cut weight, but um, this is stuff I need to kind of get my weight on track and make me the healthiest athlete possible. Let's do a weight progress check. So 143 to 125, I'm starting my weight cut diet for a little sooner than I normally would. Ever. Wait, that's the fight before the fight. This is the only part where I'm like, 
hate, you know, when it, like to hate a portion of what I do is the way that yeah. everything else is. The weigh-ins got a little crazy. There was a shove to your neck by Paige Van Zandt. No, I, you know, I think it proves here that I'm BKFC and that she's still stuck in the MMA world. Paige Van Zandt, let's see, after weigh-ins yesterday, you know, fear is the path to the dark side. Welcome to the dark side, girl. Britton Hart does not see herself as the underdog. She feels that with her bare-knuckle experience combined with her pro boxing experience, she should be the favorite. Paige Van Zandt feels that she will have the power, she will have the athleticism, and she will have the movement. Britt is still in the zone right now. She's been looking forward to this moment for so long. Paige Van Zandt set for her first fight outside of the UFC since April 2013 when she was 19 years old. Paige Van Zandt said of Britton Hart, she's tough, but she absolutely lacks punching power. She lacks physical strength. It's time to knock off! Oh! Tight for Paige Van Zandt. Big uppercut from the half tie club for Paige Van Zandt. You can tell right now how strong Paige Van Zandt is. Three punch now, five punch combination. Continuing to throw her jab. Two misses. Two is to the body for Britton Hart. Stepping in goes Britton Hart. The right hand lands in the pocket. Hart said she would not be intimidated. She does not look intimidated at all. And we move to round two. Straight one two from Britton Hart. She's in stock mode right now. She's just following Paige Van Zandt. Lateral movement from Paige Van Zandt. Good left hook from Van Zandt. That landed flush. She grabbed the tie plum right there, but it's Britton Hart who's throwing the body punches right now. Van Zandt now trying to do the walk down. Very impressed right now. Britt Hart, a very good round right there. She's doing exactly what she wants. Coming forward with pressure, throwing that one, two. I mean, Paige Van Zandt, she can't figure out how to get inside and land those punches. Slight smear of blood under right, the left eye of Paige Van Zandt. Now Paige is the one who's doing the stalking. She's mirroring her, her opponent's hip right there, trying to stay in front of her. Good right hand on the uppercut from Britton Hart. If Hart had any self-doubt, it is evaporated in this fight. She hasn't shown one ounce of it the entire night. That right hand landed on the arm. But those cannon usually are effective punches and bare knuckle. Absolutely. If you hit somebody enough in the arm, they're not going to be able to throw that right hand. Hart, a big right hand. That turned the head of Paige Van Zandt. Paige Van Zandt versus Britton Hart. We will move to the fifth and final round. I mean, Paige really has to have a sense of urgency right now. Come in and try and do something to change the pace of this fight. Van Zandt most definitely sensing the urgency. Her best sequence of this fight. of our 
your main event. Michael Ross, Alexander Levin, and James O'Connor are all in agreement at 49 to 46 for your winner by unanimous decision. Burton! Four point oh! Oh! Here's Brian Socho with the winner. I'm not a person, I'm a fucking feeling. So it's been one week since my BKFC fight. Super good fight. I, it took until like the fifth round for me to really find my rhythm. This is what we got left. Everything else is good. Uh, so I'm gonna take the half three stitches right here. I love doctor stuff. These are so I don't know that I've ever taken stitches out of this tiny. Maybe I'm like in it. Did they say that they can have this or what do we know? I feel confident that I know I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna win the next one. So back full-time training today. I did get some fight news. Um, not fighting as soon as I would like, but this fight is going to be huge. The opponent, the location, all of it is freaking insane. So I'm really excited. Honestly, I did not want to do very cool fighting. Like, that's just completely honest. Um, I think I thought it was like brutal and crazy, and I still think all those things. But uh, when they offered me to fight Paige, you know, I was like, yeah, I want to fight her again. You know, I, I want to get that one back because I had a broken orbital in that fight. So, and I was doing great. So, this fight, I'm like, I'm a lot more confident. Watching Rachel and I fight, we're two people who continuously have been told that we shouldn't fight based on our looks and obviously we're going in there to do the most violent sport on earth right now and that's bare knuckle box so you know for me it's a pretty easy sell to watch this fight she literally broke the internet with her debut in bare knuckle fighting championship one of the most anticipated bare knuckle debuts in the history of the sport coming out of that last fight i didn't know what to expect when you're in there, especially for your first bare knuckle fight and my first boxing match. And then as the fight developed, I think we could all see that I was growing with the fight. I was making the changes I needed to win the later rounds. So it was just more a mental uh, the experience now. Going, and then especially knowing what to expect and training at a straight boxing gym. Es una chica que una guerrera. Excelente disciplina, entrena muy duro.
years ago, these Warriors met inside the cage. This time, the gloves come off. And I went into that fight as a very broken person, emotionally, and I never use that as an excuse of you know, why, why it happened that way. But that's just like facts. It is a completely different sport, right? Like I know I beat her in the UFC by armbar, but now it's it's completely different. This is boxing and I've been training ever since I fought Britain. I've been in the boxing gym training my ass off. You know, I just whooped Paige's ass and this girl hasn't even towed the line yet. And you know what? We can say we're gonna come, that we're gonna come for the boobies, but you're gonna stay for the real fighters. And you know what? I'm gonna stay for the real fighters. I mean, it's awesome, but at the end of the day, I'm a fighter. I'm not a female fighter, I'm a fighter. And it doesn't matter if I'm the only female up there or if the whole stage is. I think it's really awesome that women are getting so much attention in this sport. It's well-deserved. I don't feel like we need to fight for it. Rachel Ostovich now in the building here in Tampa, Florida. She is on our main event tonight, and she enters her BKFC debut versus Paige Van Zandt. I fought her before in MMA. I know this is a different sport. But, you know, I know she's tough. She's going to bring it, and so am I. I know she's fought here before, um, but she hasn't fought me here before. So I'm excited. I, th I think my, my punches are more powerful. I have better technique. And I'm from Hawaii. We like to scrap. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. 
Cross and Judge Only both score the fight 48-47. And Judge Torres scores the fight 49-46. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Race texted my manager and my promoter i uh i'll be fighting in bkfc this year no i don't so know gonna, yeah i'm gonna, gonna do another bare knuckle boxing match i i just i'm passionate about that too i i can't leave the division without a win i have one more fight on my contract uh they've been amazing to work with they've been so flexible letting me work with aew yeah. letting me work with the pfl they are growing immensely and yeah they, they've been fabulous but i definitely want to fight for them one more time Gotta ride a